Hello everyone. Today is 7 January 2020. This is video number 14, Nursing Question and Answers. Let's begin. Question 1. G6PD deficiency is classified in the following traits. Options are Autosomal Dominant Option B Dominant X-Linked Option C Autosomal Recessive Option D Recessive Sex-Linked The right answer is Option D. G6PD deficiency is classified in Recessive Sex-Linked trait. G6PD stands for Glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. Glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency is a genetic disorder that occurs almost exclusively in males. This condition mainly affects red blood cells which carry oxygen from the lungs to tissues throughout the body. In affected individuals, a defect in an enzyme called glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase, it causes red blood cells to break down prematurely. The patient who is immobilized because of spinal cord injury, the patient should have diet rich in calories, carbohydrate, fat, protein. The right answer is option D. Immobilized spinal cord injured patient must have protein rich diet. Next question. These vaccines are administered at the time of birth. Option A. BCG plus OPV. Option B. OPV plus Hepatitis B. Option C. BCG plus OPV plus Hepatitis B. Option D. None of the above. Correct option is option C. At the time of birth, BCG, OPV and Hepatitis B vaccines are administered. Next question. Best method to sterilize glass syringes are boiling, fumigation, hot air oven, ultraviolet rays. The right answer is option C. Best method to sterilize glass syringes is hot air oven. Which part of brain is known as the relay center? Option A. Medulla. Option B. Pons. Option C. Brain stem. Option D. Thalamus. The relay center of the brain is Option D. Thalamus. The thalamus is a small structure within the brain located just above the brain stem between the cerebral cortex and the midbrain and has extensive nerve connections to both. The main function of the thalamus is to relay motor and sensory signals to the cerebral cortex. Next, during the first 24 hours of treating a patient for burn, you can assist in assessing fluid replacement needs by monitoring hourly. Options are urine specific gravity, intravenous fluid rate, vital signs, intravenous fluid intake. The right answer is option A, urine specific gravity. Next question. The outermost layer of the fetal membranes known as Option A. Jona Pleucida. Option B. Decidua Basalis. Option C. Amnion. Option D. Corion. The right choice is Option D. The outermost layer of the fetal membrane is known as Corion. The amnion is the inner membrane that surrounds the embryo while Corion surrounds the embryo and amnion and other membranes. The amnion is filled with amniotic fluid that holds the embryo in suspension while the chorion also acts as a protective barrier during the embryo's development. Thank you so much for watching this complete video friends. If you find this video is helpful then please click upon the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe our YouTube channel for nurses preparation for more such interesting videos.